the thing. Rob told me that one of the things that he, that was a check mark, you know, was the fact that I had long term friendships. So I have 20 plus years friendship. One of the first friends he met were on a trip to New York was my best friend from Jamaica when I was five. I'm 43 now. I was 40 at the time. I didn't even turn 41 yet. Um, yeah, I hadn't turned 41 yet. And so he had met someone that I had known for 35 years it, from Jamaica. And for him, he was like, the fact that I had these friends, and even when I was leaving, my friends all got on a Skype call to talk to him. You know, he talked to my brother. Like, he met my sister, right? He had talked to my daughter. Like, I had all of these groups of support of people, and he was like, that was really important for him because he knew that that was important for the next wife he had. That was going to be important that she could maintain actual relationships with people. And I think... That's something that people don't realize about that because part of growing up is learning interpersonal skills. That the, the, the whole independent thing has robbed us of. We don't know interpersonal skills. We don't know how to interact with people. And he was like, how are you going to be in a long-term relationship with me if you can't even be in a long-term relationship with females? And we live in a society now where socialization is not a guarantee. Especially after the pandemic and you know, yeah. you got homeschool and you got like there's people that would rather interact electronically than personally. I'm not I, I, I remember the world before the Internet and before smartphones and stuff like that. I prefer to actually get to know people in person. Yeah. But then, you know, nowadays it's, 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 just, it's, it's just a hot mess, you know. So, again, if you are into something. I would suggest you really sit back and evaluate it and think about do you really think it's going to be better somewhere else? Especially <laughs> if you ain't going to do nothing different. Well, and based on these dating profiles, a lot of people, people just are move not on to the next thing and I ain't going to do nothing different. And a lot of people are operating in that space. Listen, I think that there's some good quality people out there on the market. I think you got to consider, are you one of those good quality people? Mm -hmm. And based on some of these dating profiles, I think people think that they are, but the way that they're presenting themselves, it screams very, very differently. You should be able to answer the question, what do you bring to someone's life that they can't get somewhere else? Because we all do. I want to believe that. Mm -hmm. I think I brought something to your life that nobody else brought to your life. Yes, I brought a lot of things that other people have brought. But I've also bring, brought some uniqueness to his life. And he's brought some to mine. And like he, we just said, we're, like, we're committed to the commitment. I think that's probably the most important thing. Like, man, like, again, people are committed to their jobs. People are committed to their, all kind, like, people show commitment in every other aspect of life usually. You know what I'm saying? You have people that be on terrible jobs for 20 years and stuff like that. But they'll be out of relationships. They'll be out of relationships and this stuff don't go that way they want it to. You are so right. People will commit to so many other aspects but don't commit to the relationship. So you got to figure out, people, what do you want out there? There's only piss in the dating pool because we've allowed there to be, right? We've allowed people to be shitty. People have allowed other people to be shitty. It's just that delusional, simple. delusional, all of the other things. Illusions it, of grandeur. It life. takes it takes you about thirty minutes of watching Kendra G show. Take a moment, follow Kendra G. Within thirty minutes, you will see how delusional people are and how encouraged delusion is, especially among women. Yeah, like women a twenty-eight are quick to year call old with eight, eight kids. kids. Talking about she wants a new man. Talking about you want a new man, and that her kids shouldn't stop a man from dating her. Some yes, he just said it. Time. A twenty-eight-year-old woman with eight kids. One, she had uh, a one-year-old, a set of three-year-old twins, twins that were about to turn five, a six-year-old, a seven-year-old, and a ten-year-old. Just had a one-year-old, and is coming on saying she's ready to date, and a man should not see her kids, all eight of them under the age of ten, mm -hmm. as a reason not to date her at twenty-eight. This yeah, is the that, world we live in. That's crazy to me. So, people, here's the thing. Relationships are great. They can be great. Are you good in a relationship? And if you're not good in a relationship, get better. You should invest in yourself. Invest in yourself. And honestly, if you don't want to be dating, don't get on a dating profile and tell people you don't want to be dating. Who, who cares? They don't care about you. That's cat. That's you stupid. went through the whole process to say you don't want to be here. 
who stands in line at Disney World to get in and He's say, like, I, I don't, don't want to be, be here. here. Move on. It, it's stop capping. It's okay. People need people. That's the world. That's the thing that most people, people don't people. want to be honest about. The world is trying to push it. I don't need nobody. People it, need people. Somehow there's going to be 8 billion independent fucking people in this world. <laughs> I'm not trying to sleep alone. When humans Stop. by design are interdependent with each other. 